Stalling forces are forces that act across the capillaries. Briefly here, you have four forces right here. Capillary pressure, this is the hydrostatic pressure. You can call it capillary hydrostatic pressure. You have the interstitial fluid pressure. Capillary pressure is the pressure within the capillary, basically the blood pressure. Then you have the interstitial pressure, which is the pressure of whatever small amount of fluid is in there in, the, in this interstitium. It also has a pressure. Okay, I will, I will comment on the arrows later on. Then you have the third force, which is the plasma colloid osmotic pressure. Plasma colloid osmotic pressure is exerted by the plasma proteins of the blood inside the blood vessel. And it has a specific, uh, very important function rather. And then you have its corresponding interstitial colloid osmotic pressure. So whatever little amount of protein that do manage to seep out of the blood into the interstitium, they also have their own osmotic pressure inside the interstitium. So these are the four forces which are acting across a capillary. As you can see, the capillary pressure arrow is out towards the interstitium. So if you have a capillary, blood will try to exert its pressure on the wall and will try to say, come out of it. So capillary hydrostatic pressure, it wants to come out, outward. It's an outward pressure. Interstitial fluid pressure is again a hydrostatic pressure. It will exert its pressure on the outside wall and it will try to push fluid from the interstitium back into the capillary. It will all make sense in the following slide. Just stay with me. Okay. So these are the two hydrostatic pressures coming to the osmotic pressure. I can't uh, right now go into the uh, chemistry of colloids and how they, they exert an osmotic pressure. Suffice to say here, and assuming that you would remember, remember it from your chemistry classes, colloids are osmotic in nature. They want to hold up onto their water they are jealous about it they they don't want to let go of it so plasma colloid pressure wants to hold the water inside uh, the blood vessel it doesn't allow it to go out so the arrow is inwards it wants to keep the stuff in same is the case with the interstitial variety of the osmotic pressure whatever small proteins come out they want to get fluid out the fluid that is out already they want to keep it to themselves and they want they have an they have an effect on the water of the capillary inside the blood to come out so they are trying to pull fluid out so look at this the capillary hydrostatic pressure wants to push fluid out the interstitial fluid pressure uh, hydrostatic pressure wants to push fluid in Plasma colloid osmotic pressure wants to keep fluid in, while interstitial colloid osmotic pressure wants to get fluid out. This equation is very simple if you have understood what's happening here. We want to calculate the net filtration pressure. All of this system basically is set in a way that some filtration uh, uh, happens uh, throughout the length of the capillary as we'll, we'll, we'll see mathematically in the following slides. But this is the formula. You just subtract the, the capillary hydrostatic pressure from the interstitial hydrostatic pressure, from the colloid osmotic pressure, and from the colloid uh, interstitial uh, osmotic pressure. So this is net filtration pressure across a capillary. And when you put in uh, Kf, why, why have we put in Kf? This is the uh, filtration quotient. Is because, well, this is not the case in the, in, in the, in the entire body, is it? It's not just one capillary. There are several capillaries and where, uh, all capillary blood, beds are not open all the time. Not all capillaries participate in circulation all the time. Some capillaries are dormant. You don't need them. These are, imagine these are roads which don't need to be opened when the traffic is low. They only get opened when the traffic is a lot. Eid rush or something like that. Okay. Shopping car rush. Uh, so normally some of the capillaries participate in the regular mundane uh, action. But what if you have more blood coming through, then more capillaries will open and the caliber of capillaries can also dilate a bit. This is accommodated in a quotient 
in a, in a constant called KF. So when you multiply, you take, uh, take your net filtration pressure and you, you take your uh, KF value, i.e. the whole surface area and the pole uh, and the diameters, you put it all in, you get a very nice accurate picture of the whole filtration event which is happening across not just one capillary but an entire bed of capillaries.